So you can see and imagine the tide would have been uh, all the way whipping on here. I mean, this is uh, off the sea. Look at this. We've got bowls, glass bottles, wood. We've got all sorts. Look at that. So I think it's chained up. Is it chained up? Let's have a look. No, it looks like it's lost its, uh, it's lost its anchor. Look at that. And good morning. Welcome to a wild and windy Thursday morning. And you could hear the wind last night and it was really bad and the rain. So we're just going to have a, a bit of a venture um, in Blackpool. See if, uh, if it's caused any destruction, but you can, uh, you can just hear the wind. Uh, the rain's eased off, um, but it was uh, up to 45, 50 mile an hour winds through the night. So we're going to have a, a bit of a walk. It's about 6 a.m. on Thursday morning, so come and join me on this uh, stormy walk. reefs have uh, blown down so you see how bad the, uh, the wind was last night and it's still very very bad so if you are venturing out or uh, you are going to work be very uh, be very careful uh, look at this one you see the uh, the whole thing is completely come off exposing the uh, exposing the wires not good so just a quick look at the uh, the beach and you can see the tide is on its way out the high tide was i think it was about 10 past one this morning um so uh, i think it's 9.5 meters high uh, this morning so uh, you can imagine uh, how high that would have been i bet that would have been whipping right up on the promenade so i think the next tide um, high tide is about one o'clock today so that'll be a, a very interesting one so wind rain or shine the old window cleaners um, venture out in all conditions which is a uh, quite brave of them I was going to head a bit more towards uh, Central Pier and you can see, look at these bins and where have they blown from? And uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, lollipops I've never seen them swaying that much just look at that that's incredible but yeah, you can see ya uh, I mean, it's not even it's like 40 mile an hour winds imagine if you lived in you know, the States how would Blackpool and England as a whole cope? Just look at this one. Look at that. So I think it's chained up. Is it chained up? Let's have a look. No, it looks like it's lost its. Uh, it's lost its anchor. Look at that. So the whole thing has gone. In fact, there we go. It is chained up. So a uh, good job because that would have ended up in the, in the North Sea. And what do you make of it all? I bet you've seen a few storms, haven't you, in your time? Well, actually, you think you're a, a bit of a, a young bird. So you've got, a, you've got a lot to see. See you later. So you can see and imagine the tide would have been uh, all the way whipping on here. I mean, this is uh, off the sea. Look at this. We've got bowls, glass bottles, wood. We've got all sorts. But like I said, it was 9.5 meters high. So I'd imagine all this has come off the sea. So uh, it'd be fantastic if someone's captured a video um, with, the, with the tide this high. So it would have been all over the promenade. Look at the, uh, the things around. Look at this. Oh, there's tennis balls. There's all sorts. So this is how far the sea would have come. 
that's incredible and we did do a video um, of that earlier on a few months ago and uh, just look at these uh, these lollipops look how uh, they're swaying look at them And look at this one, we've even got a, uh, a whole uh, a whole cask of the call these, or barrel. Look at that. Look at that. So you see how strong the wind was? It's just laying dormant on the promenade. And you can see the destruction. Well, like I said, I know it's 40 mile an hour winds. But just look at that, he's been got at. He's been absolutely got at. That's incredible. The chairs, look. It's surprising they didn't go. So the whole fence, everything, is gone. So I think whoever's uh, in charge of Central Pier needs to watch this video and quickly get the chairs inside and the tables. Look. It's surprising all these didn't go. They're not so tied up or anything. So, I mean, it looks like the whole of this, some of the uh, the fencing has stayed up, but let's have a walk a bit further up. And you can see the fencing's gone. Absolutely, completely gone with the, uh, the old barrels and all sorts rolling around the prom. So I'd imagine they'll be empty. Oh, look at this. Absolutely incredible. We haven't even scratched the surface. South Pier right in the distance and just look how grey and murky the sky's long. I don't think we've seen the uh, the last of this uh, tail end of the storm. I think Scotland's had it really bad but yeah I think it's uh, heading north in the next couple of days so fingers crossed um, it's going to be right for uh, the weekend and the, uh, the car show at Stanley Park. So I've just zoomed in a little bit you can see some of the rides are even going around by themselves. The question is, you know, have they left the, uh, the electric on? Or is uh, some of the rides haunted on the central pier? Let me know in the comments. Look at that one. They're going around by themselves. So we're just next to the uh, Odyssey, and you can see the fence is buckled. Look at that, it's buckled under the strain. You can't really see it probably on camera, but the whole of the fence is uh, buckled completely. So we're just walking back down, and I always like to give credit to the, uh, the cleaners of Blackpool. They do uh, an absolutely amazing, amazing job. They're out all conditions, all weathers, and uh, keeping Blackpool um, nice and clean but if I could say anything about them just uh, or not them the actual council get on some of the back streets get them cleaned up that's what we need finish central drive that's a bit of an area what could do with a bit of TLC but uh, apart from that they actually do a fantastic job and if we uh, keep the camera rolling we went past it a little bit earlier with uh, all the debris the sea threw over 9.5 meters to the tide. I'd love to have captured that. Many of my subscribers know that I love going out in the storms and strong winds. It's amazing. Mother nature. It is dangerous, but it's fantastic at the same time. You can even see, I'm just going to zoom in. You see the cleaners where we just went past earlier on, cleaning all the debris up which is a uh, great all credit to them all credit to them so i think what we're going to do now we're going to break off into town and see if there's any uh devastation destruction caused by these high winds last night but i just thought i'd uh, grab this one it's north pier 
and whether it comes out on film i don't know but the aura of the colors is magnificent it's like a a pale yet a grayish sky and uh it's a touch of black it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic just to uh just to be in the presence of uh this amazing aura of colors um above north pier so we're gonna head on into town and uh we're gonna have a, a bit of a look there but at the moment um you can see blackpool tower in its uh, amazing colors once again so i think blackpool has escaped quite well to be fair but we haven't uh, had a look in town so we're gonna have a, a quick sneak peek um just through town on the way back So I, look, I think I look like a right lemon with this hood on. I never normally wear hoods. It looks like, like a right lemon. But anyway, there we go. But yeah, we had a quick look in town. And it looks like there's no real destruction or anything um, at the moment. So I think the actual town has survived. Unless, like I said, the cleaners have come out. And, uh, and like I said before, done that fantastic job. But yeah, I think... Uh, the, uh, the high tide uh, just after one, like 11 minutes past 1pm today will be an absolutely fantastic one to catch if you uh, are not, you know, if you're not working and uh, you want to brave the elements. But if you do, stay safe. And like I said, it's 9.1, um, which will be uh, an amazing one to see. So we're back at our starting point more or less and I've got one more job before I need to end the video because as you can see we've got all the uh, the reefs and if you can uh, you can see that I'll uh, I'll pop the camera on the uh, the other side so as a mark of respect I know a lot of people just walk past these but uh not on this channel uh, we do like to remember and you can see there's uh, there's one more which I'll uh, grab that one now and uh, let's pop them back in here and uh, there we go in with the rest so that is the uh, the end of the video and uh, thank you for watching again Blapple I think escaped um, the uh, the high winds and the heavy rain for another day but it did cause a little bit of uh, destruction so if you do go out be very careful and uh yeah until next time take care of yourselves and it's uh, it's a bye from me bye bye